Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Raja from IIT Madras. I am an MS Research Scholar in the Department of Electric Engineering at IIT Madras. So in this video, I am going to talk about summer research opportunity or summer research internship available at IIT Madras. So in this video, you will get to know uh, how you can apply for these opportunities or, or internship, when you have to apply and what is the deadline, what is the process to apply, what is the eligibility criteria, whether you will get the opportunity or not, and what benefit you will get if you do this internship. All this I will cover in this video. So this video will be a very important, especially for the student in the third year or second year who are looking for some internship. So please watch the video till the end. And if you like, please do share with your friends. And for such interesting topics, do not forget to subscribe this channel. So without wasting your time, let's see what are the opportunities available at IIT Madras, especially for the upcoming summer 2024. So let's see. So welcome back guys. So here I am at the official website of Robert Bose Center of Data Science and Artificial Intelligence. If you don't know about this center, let me tell you, this is one of the center of excellence at IIT Madras, which focus, uh, which especially focus on the application of data science and artificial intelligence in different fields. So, if you are a student of IIT MBS data science or IIT MBS electronic system, then this opportunity will be a very fruitful for you. And uh, I will suggest you please apply, even if you do not have any selection chance. Please do apply. At least you will get some experience. So in this video, I'm going to talk about one such opportunity available as of now in the center and its last date, let me tell you in the beginning itself, its last date is 28 February. So you have to apply for it as early as possible. I will tell you how to apply and what are the opportunities available as of now, what are the projects. So watch the video till then and let's see. So. It, this is the official website. Uh, if you search in the Google, you will find this official website. And even if you don't buy, I will give in the description. So right. So after that, you have to go and work with us. So in the work with us, you will find a lot of things, postdocs, postbacral, like that. So um, you have to go in internship section. So before starting this, let me tell you this aspect also that recently IIT Madras has opened a, sp uh, a specialized school for data science and AI and most probably it will be operational. Uh, it will be soon operational maybe by the end of 2024. So you have a good chance and you will certainly learn a uh, lot of good uh, new things if you uh, if you got selected for this summer internship. So here you can say summer internships are here, RBC, DSAI, and it invites student for national level internship. So it is clearly mentioned you have, you can gain hands-on experience working on cutting edge discovery with some of the best minds in the country in data science and AI. And its eligibility criteria is this, so students who are in the pre-final year of their fourth year under graduation or first year of their second year post-graduation, they can apply. So in brief, I can say if you are B.Tech student, you can apply if you are in the third year. And if you are M.Tech student, you can apply if you are in the first year. And if you are a B.S. Data Science student, you can apply if you have completed the two diplomas. So even if you have not completed two diploma, at least if, if you have completed one diploma and are in the process to complete the second diploma, then also you can apply. So this is the eligibility criteria. And the last date is clearly mentioned, 28 February. So please try to uh, apply as early as possible. The application process is quite simple. You just have to fill a Google form. So let's see. So here you have to click apply now. So this Google form will open 2024 RBC DSI summer internship application form. So same thing is written here, eligibility criteria. And some important thing is also mentioned here that it will start from April 2024. 
so please be clear with that if you are not available at that time so even uh, if you're not available so you have to rethink about this so because in april uh, most of you may have end sem so apply accordingly so prayer will be minimum two months to a maximum six months per enter so intensive period can be minimum of two months and maximum eight months and uh, six months so and uh, you can also apply in person as well if you are in the iit madras or nearby area you can apply in person by visiting to the center but uh, i will not suggest you to do that you can simply apply online and this is summer internship that is paid so internship uh, stipend is not mentioned here but let me tell you it will be roughly around 10000 per month so it can be also less but in my opinion it should be at least 10000 or you may not get accommodation it is clearly mentioned so such internship opportunities uh, uh, so in this such a, a internship opportunity you will get a lot of hands on experience uh, apart from stipend and you have to submit a bona fide certificate also so there's a particular format for bona fide certificate if you don't know the format i will also tell you what is the particular format and then these are the and before applying you have to clear with the what are some of the projects available for this internship so this is the particular list of the projects available i will also provide its link in the description so please uh, go through it before applying so let me zoom it first so there are a lot of projects available in the different domain related to data science and AI. so you can choose any of the project maybe you have to give the uh, two or three choices so uh, so they are mostly based on the deep learning machine learning and neural networks like that only image processing so you can see the who is the pi personal investigator means who is the faculty advisor and what are the number of interns required and you can see here the project details as well so what uh, after going through the project detail uh, you can go through what is the description of the project and what task you need to go uh, do so based on that select your project uh, what is the qualification what is what are your qualification and what the qualification the project is seeking based on that select at least two projects and apply that i will provide its link so um, number of interns is flexible and if you have some doubt you can mail the professor as well so please be free about that and uh, and if you have any doubt, I will also pro, uh, provide you sufficient guidance and help. Please comment uh, about that. So this is the project. Go through it. Every uh, every project has uh, in details available. So they are in the different domains as you can see. Like that. So here is the form so like you have to first uh, give your name uh, i have given dummy things similarly you have to give your email id and then you have to give your data birth let's find gender address the residential address you can give it does not matter much and phone number be sure that, that uh, you provide uh, the phone number which is uh, operational so that in the some case they may also call you and biography in few lines so just write about yourself and be sure to uh, please uh, write uh, uh, try to write uh, about your qualification skill also in this biography so that anyone who reads about this uh, may know uh, what is your background what is your educational background and uh, what skill you have so you can adjust the biography accordingly and uh, if you're not able to write you can uh, take the help of chat gpt also nowadays so that's not a problem 
and education qualification currently in those degree we have to write degree level we have to mention and uh, bs data and we have to choose other in year of study for second third graduation year expected expected graduation year department college university rank so if you don't have rank you can just uh, write any and if you have rank you can provide it and cgpa maximum cgpa maximum grade points so you have to write 10 in most probably in some cases it can be less than 10 and this is important research area of interest so like uh, try to write uh, that area of interest uh, in which you are applying for example uh, if you are applying for this uh, this theoretical aspects of neural network so you have to write the research area according to this so you have to adjust according to that so that it will match with your project like that and then program specific details what are your available dates so it can be from 1st April to May 30 like that since in the beginning it is written and it will start from April but even if you are not able from April 1 to 30 April maybe so if you are not available in the month of April you can give your available date for May month Similarly, in that statement of purpose is quite important. So, in this part, they are asking. So, what is your reason for desire to internet, uh, Robert Bush? What ways you have trained your field of expertise? What motivated you to work on the following projects? So, you have to adjust accordingly. So, basically, you have to mention first your uh, educational background. Then after that, you have to mention your motivation and then you have to mention your skill. Means why you are only suitable for this internship, what skill set you have and how you can contribute to the project requirements. So you have to mention this. So it is not mandatory, but still I will suggest you uh, please write it because statement purpose is quite important in internship, especially research internships and if you need some help please let me know let me know in the comment section and have you read the project description so list of project by internship same thing here and you have to give the preference like that and giving anything so you have to give three preference and then you have to give your cv so you can upload in the drive and then say it please make sure that it is accessible for all if you have to change the settings and then open source community so if you have if you are active on github and you can give otherwise just give your linkedin profile link it will be sufficient enough and then after that you have to submit so this is the application process so let me tell you after the application process uh, what will happen so most probably uh, some of my friends told me like that uh, you will receive uh, a link for the online examination you have to give an uh, online exam so in that uh, you have to you will be asked some basic ml questions basic data science question and some programming questions so i think two programming questions will be asked and uh, based on your response uh, and and availability so they will call you for the next step. So next step will be most probably an interview. And after interview, you will, be, you will get selected for this internship. So that's all. Uh, I think video has uh, video becoming quite long. So I will stop here. So that's all for this video. I hope uh, you will apply for this internship if you are eligible and if you are motivated. So please do apply and that's all. Thank you for watching this video. I will meet you in some another video. Goodbye. Take care. Happy learning.